Hi everybody and uh, welcome once again to Roddy's Socially Distanced Songbook. Um, I hope you are all well and uh, enjoying life as, as best you can with uh, all the stuff that's going on. Um, I'd like to say again uh, how grateful I am for all the, the wonderful comments. It's wonderful uh, for people to sort of get in touch that way. Um, it really makes my day and uh, if I'm kind of helping to entertain you for a few minutes of uh, your day then that's what the whole thing is, is about, really. Uh, keep on doing it. Uh, I will. Uh, a few people um, out there will probably have been wondering when is he going to do that song. Well, uh, I'm going to do it for you now. For those of, of you who haven't heard it, um, it's a song about a guy called Bob Melville. Uh, Bob was born in the last decade of the uh, 19th century and therefore when 1914 rolled round, he was uh, a shoe in for the, the big picnic over in France. So like tens of thousands of others, he dutifully signed up and went over to spend 20 month, months in the, the trenches uh, until an inconsiderate sniper who shall forever be known as that square headed git <coughs> um, ended his military career um, by shooting him and uh, wounding him so badly that um, he had to be shipped back home to Glasgow uh, where he discovered that his mother and father had taken in a lodger uh, a young nurse from Inverary called Isabella McIntosh. Uh, her being a nurse she was able to help Bob recover from his wound and being a beautiful generous soul she was also able to help Bob to deal with uh, the trauma of what he'd experienced over in France. Uh, inevitably, they fell in love and married and uh, started a family, which is just as well because Bob Melville was my grandfather and uh, this is a song I wrote about him. Hope you enjoyed this. This is called The Ballad of Bobby Melville. Well, I never heard him talk about the war me he was just granddad playing drafts in his favourite chair to his comrades he was Bobby and he chose his friends with care but I'd seen his medals in a little wooden box and I knew that he'd been there but I never heard him talk about the war no I never heard him talk about the war but he made it back alive from France by the mercy of the surgeon's knife and he met his lady sweet Isabella in time she became his wife and my mother and father told me he was a fighter all his life but I never heard him talk about the war no I never heard him talk about the war but he battled through the depression years and when the money was low He sang ballads in the back courts for the farthings folk would throw To put bread upon the table so we could see his family grow But I never heard him talk about the war No, I never heard him talk about the war but he turned his hand to the Clydeside cranes and got him a union card And he fought for the rights of the boys in the bonnets, the poorest of the yard And he fought the men in the bowler hats and he fought them bloody hard But I never heard him talk about the war But he lived his last days, a deaf old man with eyes he could barely see. He had lost his lady, sweet Isabella, and a broken soul was he. And then one day out of nowhere, he turned his eyes to me. And in an old grey voice, he spoke about the war. Well, I listened as he spoke about the war. How he watched his best friend die beside him in a flash of blood and lead How he saw the sniper through the wire and pointed at his head 
I watched the bug up jump and fall and he knew the man was dead. And he never spoke again about the war. Well, I never heard him talk about the war. But the taking of another man's life left a scar that never healed. And he carried the memory all his days of that bloody foreign field And he kept it locked deep in his heart, it was only once revealed And he never spoke again about the war Well I'd never heard him talk about the war He didn't fight for king and country, or for governments or states He didn't fight to keep his parliament from the enemy at the gates he was fighting for his family, he was fighting for his mates. Now we'll never talk again about the war. That's it for now. Till next time. Keep safe, keep strong, keep it together, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.